A few days ago, very few of us would have known what social distancing was all about. Now we're being asked to socially isolate and preferably stay at home. With all the stress going on around us, the fear of falling ill or simply that things won't be getting better anytime soon, this makes it very hard to focus since most of us are now also working remotely. Don't stress out. There are many things you can do to succeed with a work from home strategy and I'm going to share what works for me and hopefully it'll work for you. I start with being intentional about every action and I do my best to act with purpose. First, choose for yourself a place that you can call your home office. You may have a physical designated space or you might cheat like I'm doing and set up your home office and your bedroom. So make sure you start by making your bed. That'll get you off to a great start. Now, get in your regular routine. Wake up at the same time you would to commute to work. It's easy, very tempting to sleep in that extra half hour, but don't. Get up and use that time to meditate or to exercise or to read a good non-work related book. Make sure you avoid your news feed. There'll be enough time to check the news throughout the day. Now follow through with a good breakfast and a warm cup of java or hot tea and after that you'll want to get dressed because no one wants to see you in your PJs. So try on a nice t-shirt or a dress shirt or a blouse, something that you might wear to the office. After all, you'll be using the camera to connect virtually with your client and your coworkers, which takes me to the next point. Make sure all your tech is working and do this well in advance of that important meeting, not 10 minutes before. Make sure you've got strong internet connection, a computer, a headset, and a phone. And if you can, keep your browsers and email off. Instead, try blocking some time just so for surfing the net or for checking your email or your social media or for responding to all those messages. It'll help you become a lot more productive. Now, don't forget, make sure that you keep hydrated, keep some water nearby, take regular breaks. And since most of us don't have standing stations at home, Get up every 15 minutes or so, stretch, uh, brew hot tea, and uh, be intentional about your exercise workout, and take the time to do some jumping jacks or some sit-ups. <laughs> Contrary to what most people believe, when we're working at home, we're actually working longer hours, and most of them, seated. Now, you can plan to have a good routine with your team as well. Schedule a weekly check-in for about 10 minutes and talk about random stuff, not the coronavirus. Um, Talk to them about their family, their dog, their mental well-being, and make sure that you're connecting with them genuinely and not isolating yourself and your team emotionally. Likely, most of you have a partner or children at home, what I might call the work-from-home distractions. If so, just put a note on your office door and let them know when you're available and not available. And ditto for your online presence with your team. Communicate to them when you'll be online, offline, when you'll be available to chat or even do a video call. When you do connect and you're having that meeting, be intentional about it. Have an agenda. Set clear expectations. Who's doing the talking, when and for how long, and who's taking the notes. Make sure you listen and you take your own notes and then keep listening. Active listening is more important when we're working remotely than it is when we're in the same space. Finally, remember to take a break from work. Disconnect. Disconnect from your news feeds, from your computer screen, your social media. Pick up a good paperback book or go for a walk. Get some fresh air and make sure you keep your distance to six feet from anybody you're meeting on the street. We're going to get through this. And when we do manage to come out on the other side of this crisis, let's take some of these better practices that we're learning and keep building on them. There's always something positive that can come out of something not so positive. So let's take what we learned from working at home more effectively and apply it just to working better all around. Stay safe, stay positive, and abundant hope to you and to everyone around you. Peace.